what are we doing, Medina? Hey, uh, luckily my buddy Alex Cashman brought me some of those sticky front tires because uh, the old middle grapplers over there, the old <laughs> super swampers just uh, aren't doing it in the front end. So we'll put some grippier tires on the front. What kind of uh, jack surface you got going on over here? Is this uh, safe? Yeah, it's a nice little <laughs> Arctic situation. You can see the jack is actually falling through the ice. Wow. Well, you know, global warming's real, Justin. Yeah, I know. I had to kick two polar bears out to get the spot. Oh, my God. This thing feels like ice. So <laughs> I don't think I'm going to drift this up. Yeah. Why? There's nothing in the way. <laughs> yeah, that is actually scary. Yeah, get some ice on the front. Get some water on the front tires. Just... All right, we'll do it. did a couple laps in the uh, super wagon. Now Dylan's about to take his missile car out. Yeah, boy. I know, that's where you're supposed to enter with that car. Oh, well, the lock on the straightaway. <laughs> 
There's not really an ending at the track. Uh, we just wanted to pack up because it was dark and really cold. Um, but I got the BMW home safe. And we ended up stopped driving like three quarters or halfway through the day. Because I started feeling like a crazy shake uh, in the steering. Well, come to find out, both of these control arms, this ball joint is just absolutely blown out. And I had two of them already. But I didn't put them on because I was like, ah. It'll probably be fine. The ones on there are probably fine. This car's only got like 150,000 miles. Um, I don't know. I just was being lazy. Thought I wouldn't put it on. And that was a dumb call because I could have drifted the rest of the day. And I was drifting on these tires that are like seven years old and they still have tread on them. But we had like four people deep. Uh, it was a blast. The stock suspension was hilarious uh, to drift with. It just looked absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the car looked like it wanted to roll over. Uh, we kind of bake in this one fender, but whatever. That's the whole point of this car. I haven't had so much fun drifting in a long time. Literally just putting a bunch of friends in the car and trying to drift this thing with a three liter in it, like 200 horsepower with four people. So it was struggling, but it was doing it. And uh, it took a lot of a wheeling to get it to actually make it around the course with four people in it. Come to find out one of the times uh, at the very beginning, I only had 12 PSI of tires and uh, 12 PSI of tire pressure in the rear because I didn't even check. I didn't care. I just wanted to go drive it. And that was kind of like the whole point of this car is just to have fun and be stupid. And Chad checked it for me. We aired up to 50 and it feels like I picked up another 50 horsepower. Um, but yeah, honestly, the car did awesome. I'm pretty happy with how the car is. Uh, it's got some flat tires right now because all these tires or these rims have a bunch of corrosion on the inside of the bead and they just keep uh, air leaking out like through the rim. And I don't feel like getting them dismounted until I find a new set of tires because I want to get a set of snow tires to put on this thing so we can do some snow drifting in it. But 
it hasn't snowed really in Michigan yet. It's been like 40, which is super odd for this late into the winter. Like, well, I guess technically winter hasn't started, but December, usually we have snow by now. And there's been no snow, and yesterday was like 50. Today's 40. Really weird weather. I don't know. But I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching the video of the wagon. Uh, if you guys like it, I will keep making content on the wagon. Um, let me know down in the comments or leave a like on the video. But I appreciate you guys so much for subscribing, following along, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.